Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This video is in collaboration with my good friend Chip from Moment with Chip. So when you're done watching my video, definitely go over to her channel and check her video out. I will put a link to her channel and her video in the description box below. And the video that we are both creating is a FabFitFun video and we are going to be talking about our five favorite products that we've used and our five worst products that we have used. I've been thinking about what I wanna start with and for some reason, I don't know why, I'm inclined to start with the five worst products that I used. I don't have every single product with me here. I have three of each with me here. Uh, these are products that I've used over the entire time that I have been a FabFitFun customer. So I'm gonna get right into talking about the five worst products that I have used from a bit of fun and some of them some people would completely disagree with but I didn't there's one in particular but I'll get there I'll get there so the first one I don't have with me right here but it is the Mana Kadar charcoal body scrub it was called charcoal champagne body scrub something like that I will insert a clip from the video where I talked about it it came in our winter 2018 box I believe everyone it was one of the items that everybody got and that was just an awful product mostly because well I'll insert a clip here where I talk about the ingredients I have this Mana Kadar um, body scrub the champagne body scrub that came in the um, FabFitFun winter box what it, it ugh, what confuses me is in the ingredients list unless I'm seriously missing something I don't see charcoal in it and then DM DM hydantoin uh, which I just looked up and that is a formaldehyde releaser which um, that can be pretty toxic and then the last ingredient is a dye it's a CL77266 which I guess is what it gives its flag color to, to make it seem like there's charcoal in this. So that was a really big bummer. I remember that video actually was, kind of got popular and shared a lot for someone that is the YouTuber the size that I am. So that was really interesting to share that information and have people be surprised as well. So that's the first product. The second product, this is the one that I feel like people are going to be really surprised by. I am in the minority, but I am not the only one who feels like this. This, the Oribe Dry Shampoo. I, this does not work for me. Somebody on the forum said when people finally started speaking up on the forum that they didn't like this because everyone was talking about how much they love this dry shampoo. Somebody finally spoke up and said, I don't know why, but this didn't work for me. It's as though they sent me a can of air. And I just wanted to stand up and applaud because that's how I feel about this. It's amazing. It doesn't leave a white cast, sure. but. My hair was still very, very greasy after I used this product. So this is a definite no-go for me. I have used it, I, I think I tried it about three or four times before I decided that it really wasn't working for me. I'm a pretty firm believer in giving something a few chances before I decide that it's just not doing anything for me. So. This is practically full. If anybody wants it, leave a comment below and we can work it out. Maybe I can send it to you. Now, the third one, and this isn't very surprising because often natural deodorants don't work, but it's too bad because this is one that has uh, is baking soda free and a lot of people, well, I don't know about a lot, but there are many people who can't use a lot of natural deodorants because they have uh, an allergy, I believe, to baking soda. So this is the Green Goo deodorant. This is in Wild Rose. And like many other natural deodorants I've used, when I used this by about 2.30 p.m., I was a stinky, stinky lady. So this unfortunately did not work. And that's a big bummer because I wanted it to so bad. I have used some natural deodorants that work, um, but I will talk about those in other videos. So this one did not work for me. So that is on my five worst products, unfortunately. The third product that did not work for me is 
this Marula hair mask. And I'm actually throwing this away before I have even finished it. I gave it a try many times. I probably used this eight or ten times. It just, it is less effective than conditioner. It doesn't feel as nourishing as most decent conditioners. It's about the consistency of a conditioner. It has, it's not a bad smell, but it has a chemically, it's, it's definitely a chemically smell. It's not like a natural smell at all. I'm not sure if that was it, but I remember when I would use it, it was it felt a little bit overwhelming the scent. The scent wasn't what was what I didn't like. What I didn't like was that it didn't feel nourishing at all. The interesting thing about this one is if you look, see that logo? Marula. It's the same maker of this facial oil. This facial oil is amazing and I believe that they started out with this facial oil and then they branched out and started making other products and this is one of them. I think that they had a shampoo and conditioner in the last sale and I mentioned that I really didn't like their hair mask so I didn't recommend in my video where I do all of my reviews, which I will be doing for the fall edit sale. I am getting really excited. It opens on Monday for annual members so I will be doing all my research and I will be doing my super lengthy video where I talk about everything I learned about each product that's available. Uh, but yeah, this one was a real disappointment. Now, the fifth one is another product that I don't have with me. I actually ended up selling it. I posted on the forum that I did not like it. A lot of people like this one as well. It's kind of like the Oribe dry shampoo. I was in the minority. I didn't like this because of the scent. What is it? It is the Grown Alchemist Mandarin and Rosemary Leaf Body Cream. I will put a picture here for you. I don't think I went into it in detail in the video where I did talk about it before. So I will just let you know while I did think it felt like a nice nourishing lotion It smelled like creamsicle to me, and I just wasn't into it I did not like the smell at all But I was able to post on the forum that I didn't like it and if anybody wanted I would send it to them So somebody said they would like that and so I was able to work out a trade We actually ended up trading more than just the body cream I it was there we ended up sending each other a couple of thing, other things it was my first and only real swap and it worked out really really well so that's it for my top five worst products my top five favorite products now if you've been watching me for a while you can probably guess what they are because I continue to rave about them over and over but I'm gonna go over them anyway of course so the first product is, and I'm going to kind of bundle this with another one because they are very similar. So this is the Grown Alchemist Polishing Facial Exfoliant. I got this in my very first FabFitFun box ever, the Fall 2018 box, and it I at that time I was seasonal, so I happened to get this one. You could get one of three different Grown Alchemist products, and I got this one, and I... It was kind of the product that blew me away with FabFitFun. I remember in that unboxing, I took this out of my box and I read about it and I looked at the retail price and I said, $67, holy smokes. And I had a moment on camera where I realized that they were really including some luxury high-end products in their boxes. I didn't know that. Uh, and then this, the other product that I mentioned that I'm going to be, that I'm pairing with this is the Grown Alchemist Cream Cleanser. I will put a picture of it because I finished it up. My husband caught on that it was really awesome too. He started to use it. I really wish I maxed out on it and I'm hoping, hoping, hoping it shows up in the upcoming sale. Now that is a cleanser that wouldn't be for everybody. It is definitely, cream cleansers are definitely, I would say more for people with dry skin and I have dry skin. If you want something that feels a little bit more, like it gets the oils out and all of that, I wouldn't say that a cream cleanser would be for you generally, but I paired these because that cream cleanser is essentially just like this, but without the exfoliating beads. So that's my first one. My second product, and I've talked about this quite a bit as well, this is the Hey Honey Walk the Walk 
Propolis foot and heel cream and I just think that this is wonderful. It smells great. It has a slightly pepperminty scent. It feels very moisturizing and nourishing for the feet. This is another one that my husband has caught on to and also really likes. This is our second tub. They had it available again in another sale after I bought my first one and I bought two because I figured having one on hand would make a really great present. So we gave one to my mother-in-law for her birthday recently and this is our second. If you are vegan, which I'm starting to realize, I talk about cruelty free a lot, I'm starting to realize perhaps I should take it a step further and strive for going for vegan products, but it is a process and making the transition, it's not easy for me to just dive in full throttle and go all out vegan. Anyway, I'm digressing a little bit about that. But if you are vegan, this wouldn't be for you because propolis does come from bees. Now the third product, and this is also another product that I have bought multiples of. I quickly about the exfoliant that I mentioned, the first product. I went on to the buy sell trade forum on Facebook and I sought out this after I used up my first tube, and then when this was available again in another sale, I bought two more. So this is the third tube that I'm on of this stuff. I hope it never discontinues because that would be a very sad day. So this is another product like that one and the foot cream that I have bought multiple times. I even went to Target and paid full price for a replacement. This is the Bare Republic Mineral Sunscreen Lotion for the face. And this is just excellent because it doesn't leave a white cast when you rub it in. Now you can see I'm very, very pale. I'm not sure how it might work on darker, darker skin tones, but for me, it works out really well. There is a video where Desi Perkins tries it out, so you can. I will link that below in the description box. So if you have a darker skin tone, I know she's not that much darker, but at least you can kind of get an idea of how it might work on somebody who's darker than I am. But the reason that I love this so much is it's a mineral sunscreen. It's not chemical. It's not going to be potentially harmful to my system if I use it every single day. And it has a nice, slightly baby powdery smell, and it goes on really well over my moisturizer. There could be other mineral face lotions out there that are just as amazing and wonderful, but so far this is the only one that's come from FabFitFun that I can recall. So this is my third top product. Now my fourth product I don't have here with me. I threw it out. It is done. I haven't seen it appear in a FabFitFun sale again and it retails for something like $54. Uh, it is the Elemis Peptide 4 Night Cream Oil. I will put a picture of it here and that for me chemically the way it smelled, it smelled a little bit like gingerbread-y, cinnamon-y, <laughs> cinnamon but there was just something and I'm trying to figure out how to describe it. You know how some scents, particularly for you, can just kind of make you feel that sensation you get when you're getting like a really good massage, just like, oh, wow. And it just, it just hit the pleasure centers in my brain. Every time I used that night cream oil, for me in particular, it was an amazing experience. And it went on really well and it felt very nourishing. And it was the first time I had used, used a night cream oil. So that was a really excellent experience as well. Or not night, just a cream oil. So that was an excellent experience as well. It was just such an amazing experience it, using that. I feel like I just blew through it. It. and I hope to see it in another sale again. Oh, it came in a winter collection back when FabFitFun's prices and the sales seem to be going up ever so slightly every sale, but it was an amazing deal. It came in a silver makeup bag and it had that night cream oil. It had the eye cream. Oh, and this is available on the 21 Days of Beauty, or it was, I think, a day or two ago. And then it had this Peptide 4000 Flower Mask, all for $21. $21. And that was an amazing, amazing deal. Okay, so the last thing, I also don't have that here with me because I used it up. I haven't seen it available in a sale again, and that would be the Living Proof Restore Hair Mask. I have used many hair masks since joining FabFitFun, trying to find ones that I really like, and this that one was the best. I actually felt a difference in the softness of my hair after I used it, and I was it was one of those products where you can point to it and you can say, 
oh yeah, that is making a difference. If you've been watching me, you know I'm really bummed that, to learn that Living Proof had sold to Unilever in 2016 and I am trying to do cruelty free. Like I mentioned, I'm thinking about going vegan if I can start to steer toward that. But so I won't be buying it again for myself, but now I am desperately on the search for another hair mask that feels just as nourishing. It was amazing. Cruelty freeness aside, if you have dry curly hair and you are into buying Living Proof, I highly, highly recommend it. It's not a cheap tub. But again, the prices of Fat Fit Fun seem to be going up ever so slightly. So when I purchased that tub, I think it was nine or $11 at most in the sale and it retails for something like $48. I'll confirm and I will flash it across the screen. But that is my number five top favorite product I have ever used from Fun. This was a really tough list to put together. I'm kind of thinking I could have done a top 10 of each, but then this would have been a much longer video. I have done many, many FabFitFun product review videos if you want to go check them out. If you're new to my channel, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. Say hello in the comments below. But I do have a FabFitFun playlist, so if you start watching my Fab Fit Fun videos they should feed. So now go, go, go run, check out Chip's channel, check out her video. We are doing a collab and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in next, my next video. Bye!